since January 2020, the world faced an outbreak of coronavirus disease 2019, known as the COVID-19. People from around the world need to change their lifestyle in order to adapt the new norm. In the lockdown has taken a toll towards our health. Constantly being sedentary and unhealthy diet may lead to harmful health consequences. Optimal nutrition is one of the determinants of health that can improve well-being. There are six classes of essential nutrients. Carbohydrates are the main sources of energy in the diet. Fats also give us energy and help with normal growth and development, immune function, vitamin absorption, hormone production. Proteins and the amino acids, they are made of major structural components of our body cells and are responsible for building and repair of tissues, and maintenance of muscle and lean body mass. There are 13 essential vitamins which have important jobs such as keeping our nerves healthy, helping us resist infection, assisting with blood clothing and keeping our metabolism running. Minerals are only needed in small amount but play a vital role in muscle contraction, fluid balance, food digestion, bone building, blood regulation and more. Water is also essential to deliver other nutrients to cells, regulates body temperature, act as shock absorber and lubricant and help in removal waste. Let's introduce our healthy eating plate. What is a healthy plate? It's a way to control your serving size where you don't have to count. First, divide the plate in half and fill one of them with vegetables. There are two types of vegetables, starchy like potatoes, corn, peas or plantains and non-starchy like zucchini, japani, cucumbers, carrots, or salad. If you have diabetes, fill half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables. Then, fill one quarter with whole grains or starches like brown rice, corn, beans or whole wheat pasta. In the other quarter, add some lean protein like tofu, grilled fish or chicken. So, why do we need supplement during COVID-19? Vitamin C is commonly known to help fight the cold but how true is that? And what is vitamin C good for? Vitamin C help to boost immunity, thus help to fight range of diseases. Vitamin C recognized antioxidant that enhance the chemotaxis, phagocytosis, and microbial killing. Studies found that vitamin C helps in lowering the symptoms of COVID-19. Next is vitamin D. It is found that vitamin D is an antioxidant that has been associated with a reduction in pulmonary infections. Vitamin D deficiency has been shown to correlate with hypertension, diabetes mellitus, and darker skin pigmentation. Vitamin D status has been associated with the severity of COVID-19. Next is selenium. Selenium helps your body make special proteins, called antioxidant enzymes. Selenium causes an increment of the activity of glutathione peroxidase, another antioxidant enzyme, and to augment several host immune responses, including interferon C production, D cell proliferation, antigen stimulation, and natural killer cell activity. Selenium deficiency led to more severe disease and an increased pro-inflammatory immune response, resulting in increased pathology in the lungs. The last supplement that found play a vital role during COVID-19 is zinc. Zinc is a cofactor of superoxide dismutase, which is an enzyme present in the mitochondria and cytosol of cells that suppresses oxidative stress. Excess zinc however, also causes cellular oxidative stress. It is a state that occurs when there is an excess of free radicals in the body's cells. Created using Powtoon.